Hi, good afternoon. This is uh, Sunil and we stay in uh, Nacharam. Uh, recently, uh, my daughter last month had a fever and by evening time, uh, she had a seizure and uh, her condition was a bit critical. So in the overnight time only, we rushed my daughter here to Yashoda emergency. And all the doctors responded so quickly and uh, immediately my doctor was being taken care and uh, admitted to a pediatric ICU where all pediatric doctors and complete team staff um, worked together to understand what happened and parallelly they were giving us all the update. The very next day Dr. Ramesh uh, and team pediatric department, Varsha Madam from uh, pediatric neurology. They all came, diagnosed, looked into my doc- daughter's condition and uh, they didn't wait for further uh, things to be taken care. They immediately went for multiple tests to understand what happened and by the quite ahead of time, we understood that my uh, daughter got uh, viral encephalitis and it was been treated well and within four days, we were out of uh, pediatric ICU in the room and further there also, we got uh, complete attention from all the teams, staff, nursing department, get discharged from hospital. We got our first review completed, everything is fine and this is a second review uh, where I'm giving this feedback. Still, everything is going fine. My daughter started going to school and uh, overall we are very happy with uh, uh, Yashoda hospital's treatment, the doctors, the way they explained us, they, the way they are friendly with uh, patients and the bystander. So we are very much thankful. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. I am Dr. Varsha Reddy, Consultant Pediatric Neurologist, Yashoda Hospitals, Hyderabad. So today here I am going to discuss about a, a case that we had recently. In the season of uh, dengue, uh, we had a child, four-year-old child by name uh, Esme, who was admitted to us with a history of fever of one day and a paroxysmal event which occurred as a seizure episode. So previously this kid was a known case of febrile seizures. So this was the third time that she had a febrile episode and a seizure uh, which lasted uh, for about two to three minutes. But what was... um, different was the post seizure episode child was in a prolonged encephalopathy and prolonged post ictal state and we received the child within 24 hours of uh, illness so she was admitted to the icu because of the dullness and lethargy Uh, not thinking that it could be just a simple febrile seizure uh, we suspected that it could be something else and then we got a brain imaging done a brain imaging showed dengue encephalitis like picture so we started on uh, anti-edema measures and anti-epileptic medication and she was uh, in the uh, pediatric intensive care unit under our intensive uh, uh, doctors and uh, uh, pediatric neurologists like I was uh, taking care of the child. Uh, she improved very well, she didn't uh, further uh, deteriorate and uh, uh, in this case I would like to say that whenever there is a history of febrile seizure and the child presents with a similar episode but something against the simple type of a febrile seizure like atypical type or atypical age and uh, prolonged postural drowsiness and other features so please uh, try to evaluate further and uh, we will uh, be missing out on a much much bigger and uh, dangerous uh, diagnosis if we don't evaluate so this is the learning point in this case Now the child got discharged within 4 to 5 days and she is completely recovered and uh, she is completely seizure free and uh, she is doing well.